August 25th, 2020. Hi, my name is Adam, and this video is uh, about a Volkswagen, old Volkswagen electrical toolbox uh, items. So I'm gonna take an inventory of the items I have in my electrical toolbox, and then um, you'll know what you should probably have in yours. So I got these suckers, okay. It's a little windy, but let's get this done. Probably long overdue. And, uh, hopefully they're visible, right? A pair of these things. Right, great little crimpers and crushers. It's like it says Thomas Betts on it. Cutters for copper and aluminum only. All right, so uh, there's a pair of those, okay. All right, and uh, a little soldering iron. Uh, this has got the striker in the top. Mm -hmm. The striker is right here. That's super handy. And then you fill it up down there. So you should have that in your electrical toolbox, okay. Uh, you should have one of these gizmos. All right, a little uh, tester. Right, the black goes in the middle and the red goes on either side and it looks like the volts are on this side okay and then when I'm testing the electrical current and some of the I put it to uh, 20 volts okay so get one of those suckers right uh, let's see there's some snippers right. those. great I'm gonna have to put everything back this is a great tool you should get one of these suckers I don't want, don't know what you call this, but what it does is at this end, oh, sorry, there we go. At this end, it it strips, it strips a wire. You want one of these for sure, so you can cut and strip the wire. I don't know who makes this. Uh, oh, let's see. It says on it, it's got a part number. Let's get it in the light here. I can. Sorry, swinging this around. All right, I'll just read it. It says 26 AWG to 14 AWG. I don't know if that's visible on it. See that there? Yeah, there we go. And uh, it says the same thing on the other side. Not sure who makes them, and I have no idea where I got it. You definitely need a pair of those. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, uh, get some Permatex. Oh, there we go. Dielectric grease. And you put these on, um, you put this on uh, spark plugs. Uh, you put it on spark plug wires. Or, anyway, uh, you look into how you use that, the proper way to use that. Uh, you're gonna need a little screwdriver. Here's, oh, sorry little uh, cross screwdriver is a stubby one I'd recommend getting a long skinny one too there's a long skinny one but this is a flathead seems like I, I use the uh, I use the uh, uh, the Phillips more so see if you can get a shorter one of those um, you can find them in eyeglass kits okay you have to have a couple of these you plow through these things all right every electrical toolbox should have one of these great for cleaning off uh, batteries um, and any electrical fitting that you need to get there and clean I just cleaned my uh, tail light uh, assembly because the contacts weren't uh, uh, connecting well also this will save your butt this screws into a light socket right, so you unscrew the light bulb Screw this into the light socket and then screw the light bulb back into there and then there's an outlet. I was stranded once somewhere, like at a buddy's apartment complex or something, and I went into a uh, carport, unscrewed the light bulb, screwed this in its place, screwed the light bulb back in so no one would notice a uh, light bulb that wasn't working, and then attached my battery charger to there, and then went to sleep and in the morning my battery was charged and I was good to go. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. I'm gonna hold off on all the wires. Hold off on all the wires. All right, let's see. So there's electrical tape, of course. All right, you wanna have some electrical tape. Uh, if it's a Volkswagen, you're gonna want a couple of these light bulbs. Okay. 
and you're gonna want now I think the one on the left here is fried but you're gonna want a couple of these those are for the uh, those are for the license plate frame oh this will save your butt too when your ignition goes south this will save your butt so get one of these things immediately if not sooner and you can rig up your uh, your ignition so you still have to put in the key so the steering wheel doesn't lock but you attach a uh, attach two wires to here you uh, and then what happens is, is you you turn it on and it sends power to the coil and it's uh, yeah there you go sends power to the coil and then another wire is the hot wire that goes to the starter and you just touch it it kind of it'll end up looking like the tip of this right and what I do on one vehicle is I just touch it here right flick it on got juice going to the coil and touch it to there Oop, touch it to there and vroom, and it starts up and immediately drop it so it's a great way to hot wire your own car I had to do that once at a DMV up in uh, Palmdale Sagas Valencia once saved my butt and still to this day it's been like that and that was 20 years ago a couple more of these ah you're gonna need you're gonna need this kind of light bulb there we go I don't know if you notice these light bulbs but see these little nibby things Look right there see that little nibby thing right there Whoop. keeps focusing sorry come on come on there we go See those little nibby things? They're at different heights. Come on, you sucker. There. One's closer to the end and one's a little further, well, closer to the middle. Got that? It's because they go in different ways. Put it in that way and then turn it. Or, you put it in that way and then turn it. You get the point. Anyway. Uh, connectors. Okay. You're going to need these. They go on your starter I think so get a couple of these suckers let me see what the number says on it Let's see here what does that number say there we go 12 10 ks what does that say on the other side there let's turn this around here Five point five dash twelve. Is that what it says? Five point five dash twelve. I think so. Yeah, I think that's what it says. Get a few of those. Now you know what's nice about about all these little uh, all these little. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Got lots of fittings. Things like this. You can always cut them. You can cut them right in the middle if you need to. You know, make it forked and then bend it if you need to. So um, got all sorts of little fittings in here, right? Lots of fittings. Fuses. Make sure you have the right fuses. I don't know if the white ones are the right ones. Come to think of it. I have to go look. When you go to get these suckers, battery connectors, get the brass ones. And get the ones with the ends like this. Alright? Now, brass doesn't uh, go as bad as the, uh, as quickly as the other kind. And... You're going to need a pair of these suckers to be able to cut through the battery cable. And then you stick everything under there. Or, whoops, you're going to use a um, one of the little circular fittings and, and, and squish it under here. Does that make any sense at all? You're going to get, like, uh, well, this one is obviously... Uh, this is obviously too big, but you can see that... In principle, it would go under there, right? Because you need to attach one wire with a little eyelet like that to this uh, battery cable. So that's something you're going to have to do. So make sure you get these, right? And you can always have ex you can always get extra ones. You always want to have extra ones of those, <clears throat> and readily available as well. Here's a soldering iron. Right? I haven't had to use this one. In fact, I really haven't had to use my gas-powered one. Uh, except when I was cutting um, 
uh, rope line for my uh, windsurfer, but you should always have one of those. Um, let's see what else we have in here. You can look through and see different fittings. Oh, these fittings. These are the bomb fittings. You need these with this coat. Go to an electrical supply store and get these. This coating is better than the other kind. See how big that hole is? Now they have different size bottoms to these things. Here's one here. That's a much smaller hole. Thanks. Come on. Come on. There. See how small that hole is? There. Thanks for your patience as I make this video. This one's bigger. That's an issue. You gotta make sure you have the right size. Uh, let's see it. I don't know to what this goes. I go to an old Honda. I'm not sure. Uh, that looks like a. What the heck? That's a battery. I don't know. I have to check on that in a minute. All right. What else do I have in here? Uh, a box of these. Uh, I got them. So you need them. Look how big those suckers are. A box of those. I've got some shrink tubing. You're gonna need a lighter for the shrink tubing. Some more of these little connectors. All right, get some connectors. You know, have a spare rotor inside your electrical toolbox, okay? You need one of those. Have some spare points inside your electrical toolbox. Don't know why there's one of these. It might be because it's a bigger size heavier duty not quite sure keep a pen in there ah an electrical tester one of these I've got two a smaller one a bigger one but get a couple of these get some extra clips too because my alligator clip on the other one broke so I had to so I didn't use this I used that but you always want to have one of those. You can also check your points for these suckers. Or check your timing, anyway. Uh, okay, let me just discuss this for a second. <laughs> you go to the Volkswagen shop, and you, you want to get one of these negative ground cables, right? Get the normal size and get a longer one. Because if, you're, if the bolt to which you secure this breaks, then you have to find another bolt. Mm -hmm. And on my Volkswagen, whoop, looks like my battery's dying here. On my Volkswagen, the, um, is it still recording? I hope so. Yeah, it is. On my Volkswagen, the, uh, the closest bolt was the, uh, bolt that holds the, uh, uh, back, uh, skirt, back apron to the, uh, to the car. So, I had to rig that, which reminds me. Uh, also, make a to-do list. You're going to want to have a to-do list with you uh, of all the parts you need. Or, you know, buy this part, buy that part. Spark plug. You need a spark plug inside your electrical toolkit. I hope this is focusing. My phone just went dark. Uh, because you need to be able to check your, um, check your spark at your plugs. And then you might have to take off the end. I hope it's focusing. I can't tell. I'm real sorry, people. Right. Oh, and you're going to need the electrical toolbox. Oh, by the way, on this electrical toolbox, see it's got all these little separate fittings in here? Right? Some of them I had to hack out, I think. Yeah, like here I had to hack out this. Right? So, you're going to probably want to do that as well. Down here, I've got the other electrical tester, and you can see, hopefully... Sorry, it's not focusing. My camera... My phone's dying. See, I only have one clip, so I have to get that repaired. This little ratchety gizmo that you use on the battery terminals. And who makes this? Not intended for use on seized hardware. No, all right. Uh, scrubby brush. A little metal scrubby thing. No, little... oh, that's not metal. Is it? Maybe not. Uh, what else do I have in here? A little shrink tubing. This is called here. Heat shrink tubing. You should have that. I hope this sucker's still recording. Looks like it is. Um, let's see. Tape. Tape is good. Definitely need tape. You need electrical tape. Here's some little red tape, right? Some yellow tape or some green tape, which means you should probably have a permanent marker. Oh, soldering. Uh, solder. Some solder. And then, uh, oh, see, I got another one of these. All right, another one of these. Save my butt. Okay, uh, more fuses. 
and wire. Got red wire, red wire, okay. some brown wire, and gray wire, some speaker wire, some thicker red wire, and some more red wire. <clears throat> and that goes to the satellite radio. And uh, that is also used, I think, to remove uh, battery terminals or something to that effect. Anyway, uh, there you have it. That is everything I think you should have in an electric toolbox. Uh, like I said, keep notes of what you don't have and uh, list those and make sure you buy them when you get some money. You know, pick an extra day and just shovel a whole bunch of money into one of these things and you'll be set for the rest of your life. Okay, the, oh, you know what else? Get some stickers. See these little stickers? Get some stickers. And then you can write on the stickers. See the stickers? What goes where? Okay, that's, oh, see, look, look at that, little markers, little wire markers. Get one of those. All right, that's it.